One of the best ways that you can improve your lawn is by aerating it. Now traditional aeration involves renting a machine and essentially you're poking holes in your lawn to allow things like water, fertilizer, and other nutrients to get down deep into the soil. And even though it's a great thing to do, it's an awful lot of work and for many people it's just never going to happen. So I was very interested when I heard about a new way to aerate your lawn without using a machine. All you need is your garden hose and an inexpensive product that claims it'll help aerate your lawn in a way that it might even be better than a machine. We're going to put that claim to the test and see if it can help benefit your lawn at home. When you aerate your lawn, you're going to help it relieve compaction and all that means is that the dirt is getting so tight that your roots can't spread out and grow. But you can also have a situation like this where you're getting brown spots and weird dead areas on your lawn. Now this can happen when your soil becomes hydrophobic and that actually means the soil cannot absorb the water that you're putting down. Liquid aerators claim that they can solve the problem of water absorption very quickly and easily, but I wanted to put that to the test, so I took a container with a number of holes in the bottom, poured water into it, and watched what happened. Now the results here were not good. You can see the water is running right down the mulch bed, lots of it's going in the driveway, but the key thing is it's not being absorbed. If I even dig back the surface a bit, you can see that it's completely dry. This area hasn't been watered for over a month and you would think that being a mulch bed, it would easily be able to absorb all this water. I conducted the test a second time and you can see that the results were the same. Most of the water goes flying down the hill and it doesn't get absorbed at all. I went back to the same area and applied a liquid aerator on top of the mulch bed. Now when you put these down, it's not just a temporary effect. It can actually have an impact that can last up to two to three months. And once everything fully dried, I went back to try the test again. I added the same amount of water, but the results were very different. You can see that the water barely gets away from the container at all. Now before that water ran all the way down to my driveway and it was pooling up. Now none of the water is sitting on the surface and none of it went to waste. So let's take a look at how I applied this product to the lawn and which one I used. Many of the liquid aerators on the market are nothing more than just soap and water, but you want more than that. And this one is called soft soil. It's not only an aerator, but it also has sea kelp, humic acid, and some other micronutrients that your lawn is looking for. And it's super easy to apply because of this. This is called the orthodialin spray, and it works perfectly for applying something like this. It's got marks on it to help you measure the product. It's super easy to clean, and it costs less than $15. But the main reason you want this one is because it has a measuring device right in the nozzle. So you just rotate this to whatever setting the bottle tells you and you can simply spray it. This means you don't really have to measure anything. Soft Soil recommends four ounces per gallon, so you just need to rotate the dial to the four ounce mark, shake up the bottle, and you're ready to add it. And again, you can fill the container up all the way if you're gonna be spraying your lawn, and this little device will do the measuring for you. Just insert the tube and tighten it up and you're ready to go. But the last thing you need to decide is which nozzle setting you want because you actually have three different sprayers built right in. You've got a wide spray, a solid stream, and more of a gentle spray. So for this application, you're gonna to wanna to use the gentle spray or the wide stream. And now for the best part, you just pull the trigger and walk around your lawn and spray. Now this isn't a fertilizer, so you're not gonna get any kind of stripes if you put too much or too little down. You just wanna walk around and try to put down an even amount of coverage. And soft soil can be used anywhere in your landscape. So you can put it in beds, your lawn, or anywhere that can benefit from better water absorption. But the other benefit is you're also putting down some amount of sea kelp and humic acid as well. The two reasons I picked this product was that nobody else out there put all of those benefits into one bottle, but the most important reason is the price. Everybody else out there gives you a little tiny bottle for that same price. So in terms of value, this product was one of the best ones I've ever used, and the best part of all is it actually worked. So if you liked this video, got you to see a product that's well worth considering for your lawn, and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.